How do you make a 30-ton tank swim so it can support the largest seaborne invasion in history? By making the tank its own flotation device, of course. The Sherman Duplux Drive tank, often called the DD tank, was created to support the initial phase of the landings in Normandy during Operation Overlord. The swimming Sherman was outfitted with propellers and an inflatable screen. In this instructional video from World War II, we'll see how the tank was made seaworthy. The most important part of the duplex drive tank was the inflatable screen. Made of canvas, the screen is what made the tank float. Seven feet tall, it was inflated with rubber tubes running through it. The screen was divided into three bands. The lowest band was three layers thick, the middle band was two layers thick, while the top was made of only one layer. Supporting struts were locked in place, often needing a strong kick to do so. This is the part where the tank gets its name. You can see the two methods of propelling the tank, the treads and the propellers, and hence the name duplex drive. Once in the water, there were two ways the DD tank could be steered. Either the driver controlled the tank from their seat, which would be well below the waterline, or the tank commander could manually steer it by a large tiller bar from a platform on the rear of the turret. The commander would be raised just high enough to be able to see over the rim of the screen. The duplex drive Sherman had a top speed of 6 miles per hour in the water. Once the tank treads were able to touch solid ground, the propellers would be returned to their original position and the treads would now propel the tank. The air in the rubber tubes was released and the screen deflated. Once the screen was down, the Sherman would be able to fight and support the infantry on the Normandy beaches. Check out this video where I discuss the first Azars, who are equipped with DD tanks, landing on Juno Beach on D-Day.